Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to take a look at the uh, SQ001 Mini Intelligent Soldering Iron from Secure Mall. Now I've looked at other irons like this before, including a couple from Secure Mall before, as well as the TS100 and the TS80, and they all proved to be, you know, very fine, very capable soldering irons. Now this one comes with a power supply, which as you can see here, outputs from 5 volts at 3 amps, up to 20 volts at 2.25 amp. There's a nice little flip down thingy there. USB C output. And it goes to a barrel jack for the soldering iron. So let's open her up. Let's see what's up inside. This uh, pro product was provided to us free of charge by Secure Mall for us to look at and consider. So I want to thank them for sending that out. But I have promised them nothing other than a fair and honest video. So we've got some different sorts of tips in here, which is very nice because this didn't come with any of the other kits. Looks like we get a uh, total of four different tips here. We have a, uh, a two millimeter wedge tip, nice conical tip, your uh, drag soldering type tip, and then a very pointy wedge tip. We have a little tube of solder, which I assume would be lead free. Oh, it even comes with some desoldering wick. Uh, another cable to attach this to a uh, a lipo battery. This is the the XT60 connector. Some screws and a little hex key, and a little stand. We have our instruction manual, version 1.1. Operating conditions, blah, blah, blah. Specifications, OLED screen, micro USB. Really? Yep, it does have micro USB. Okay. Power port, that would be our barrel jack. 97 millimeters. 65 watts temperature range 100 C to 400 C I like to solder about 350 so I put this right there at the upper end of that operation temperature under heat that must be the the temperature of the uh, the whole thing and tip resistance to ground less than two ohms power adapter uh, selection at 12 volts we can get a uh, 17 watts and it'll heat up in 40 seconds. At 24 volts, we can get 65 watts, and it will heat up in 11 seconds. A little bit of instructions on how to put it together. Automatic calibration. Temperature adjustment. Sleep mode. Changing the tip. Troubleshooting. And technical support. Okay, I'm going to get this set up. And then we'll have a play with it. All right, I've installed the wedge shape, shaped tip and I've tinned it. So we'll power it up. You see there it says secure version. Hit button A. And it's going to heat up relatively quickly. We are at 300 C, which should be good to melt my 6040 solder. So I got one of my little polarity boards here. We'll see how well it does it uh, soldering it up. Yeah, pretty good, I'd say. Putting a nice, thick bead of solder on there, no problem. There doesn't seem to be any issue 
with the iron not having enough thermal mass. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's a uh, that is a thick coat of solder I put on there. Let me tin up these guys here real quick. There's some tape on there. I wonder where the heck that came from. All right, we'll tin these up. Yeah, I should be able to get that on there. No trouble at all. Get in there. And it's got plenty of heat. Flows nicely. It's not losing any heat. Seems to be going pretty well. Just gotta get that last pad tacked on there. Good. Clean that off. And we'll put in our resistor. Okay. Now we'll solder that up. Yeah, seems to be doing a really nice job. No problems at all. Where's my clippers? Clip that excess off there. Then we'll put in our LEDs. The cord bugs me, gotta be honest. It's like in my way. But that has probably more to do with where I have it plugged in, which is up there. If you had it plugged in on the floor below you or off to the side, you probably would not have any problems. So that should be good. I see something to plug into it. Give me one second. All right, this is a center negative plug. And as you can see, works great. So the soldering iron does a good job. No problems with it at all. Let's take a look at the uh, instructions for programming it. Okay, so if we want to adjust the temperature, as you can see right now, we're at 300. We hold button B for more than two seconds, and it brings that up. Take it up. I like it about 350. Release button A. Okay, temperature down by adjusting for two seconds. Temperature adjustment, standby mode button A, we preset temperature. Temperature up and temperature, hold button B for two seconds until it reads the temperature you want 
and we are already there so that's good what else do we have we have sleep mode by pressing i think they said both these buttons we can enter sleep mode yep now we're back into sleep mode and pressing a will work it back up we can also adjust the standby time, the working time, or working temperature, the wait time, and these can all be adjusted and put in through the USB. So, very cool. This is a nice little soldering iron. This is lower cost than the TS-100. Uh, these are listing for about $60 or so. Let me check here one second. $61.19. For this little kit that you see here not a bad way to go especially if you have to go portable and you've got a nice lipo battery you can use to power these it's not too nose heavy you know it feels good again i don't like where this cable is but that's my problem because i have it plugged in up there i'm sure if you had it plugged in like i said down below there wouldn't be so much of an issue so cool I like it. It's pretty nice. If you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to Secure Mall, big thanks to my patrons, and a big thanks to you. That's it. I'm out. Happy Easter.